Black people are 13% of the population, and they are 50% of the police shootings. I'm sorry about that, but I don't know what that has to do with the question. We didn't find any um, uh, racial bias in police shootings. Well, good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Make sure you guys get to that description box. Hit the link to my new YouTube channel, Green's House. I sit down with amazing people who have an interesting story to tell. So, <clears throat> the truth is dangerous. I know. We already knew that. But this is a great story. Shout out to my man, Oliver Mack. Um, I found this on his Instagram page at Right Winged Angel. And there was a Harvard professor who needed police protection. What did he do? Did he say that there were only two genders or some shit like that? Almost worse. Because you're going after one of their go most golden of golden calves. Racism. That's the bottomless pit. When all else fails, we need to get them distracted. We need them upset. Dun, 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 dun. Racism. And they throw their bucket down in that racism well, and it comes up overflowing everything. Well, this man had the audacity to do a study on police shootings involving people of color. And is there a bias when it comes to police shootings? Are police shooting black folks because they're black? or more than any other group. There, there has to be bias in police shootings because that's what we're told. I saw a clip not too long ago where a guy was saying that a, there was also a study that asked um, liberal voters, how many black people do you think were killed in a year by the police? And the average answer was a thousand. I can't remember the particular year. The average answer was a thousand, but it only turned out to be 12. So people are... We are seeing the dark side of the information age. People are hearing something repeated and they're taking it as the truth and it's not even close. So this Harvard, Harvard professor, I'll let him explain it to you, but he does a study, gets some results, just to make sure it's right. He gets a whole new group of people to help him with the study, same results come out. How do you think academia uh, reacted to that? It's the truth. They're, that's what they are all in the pursuit of. So the truth, no matter its form, should be welcomed because it is the truth. It's a reality. This is what it really is. And we all want to know the truth. We all can deal with the truth. Don't bullshit me. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't leave things out that you think, or, that you think will hurt my feelings. Just give me the truth. Give it to me raw. Like ODB said, ooh, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Right? Give it to me raw. Fine, I'm a big boy, pay taxes. I can handle this. So that's what you think, but that's not what happened. So I'll let him describe it much better than me. But oh, and by the way, he's also a person of color. So, like, you have to believe him. It's February. Don't question him. But he didn't get the warm welcome that he thought his the results of his painstaking study would receive. Bam. Black people are 13% of the population, and they are 50% of the police shootings. I, I'm sorry about that, but I don't know what that has to do with the question. Right? And, and it, it was in this moment in 2016 that I realized mm. people lose their minds when they don't like the result. Mm. Right? And so what my paper showed, you'll see tomorrow, uh, like some of you, uh, was that, yes, we saw some bias in the low-level uses of force every day pushing up against cars and things like that. People tend to like that result. But we didn't find any um, uh, racial bias in police shootings. Now, that was really surprising to me because I expected to see it. Hmm. The little-known fact is I had eight full-time RAs that it took to do this over nearly a year. When I found the surprising result, I hired eight fresh ones and redid it to make sure. They came up with the same exact answer, and I thought it was robust. And then I went to go give it, and my God, all hell broke loose. It was a 104-page dense 
academic economics paper with a 150-page appendix, okay? It was posted for four minutes when I got my first email. This is full of shit. Doesn't make any sense. And I wrote back, how'd you read it that fast? That's amazing. You are a genius. And I had colleagues take me into to the side and say, don't publish this. You'll ruin your career. Mm. I said, what are you talking about? I said, what's wrong with it? Do you believe the first part? Yes. Do you believe the second part? Well, it's the issue is they just don't fit together. We like the first one, but you should publish the, no the second one another time. I said, let me ask this. If the second part about the police shootings, this is a literal conversation. I said to them, if the second part um, showed bias, do you think I would, should publish it then? And they said, yeah, then it would make sense. And I said, I guarantee you I'll publish it. We'll see what happens. Black people. That was powerful. <clears throat> so it doesn't matter that it's the truth. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't fit their narrative. They built so many, so much on top of this bullshit that they don't want to admit that they were wrong. And they knew it. You knew it. If, if I know that, they have to know that. We're talking about professors in Harvard and other Ivy League colleges and their resources and the money they have at their disposal to do these studies. They have to fucking know. But he needed armed guard to protect him. For what? <laughs> the truth? The truth? To the Harvard economics professor Roland Fryer needed armed security with him to go out in public after he published a study finding no evidence of racial bias in officer-involved shootings, he said in an interview with the Free Press founder Barry Weiss. Fryer, a top economist who became the youngest tenured Black professor in Harvard's history at just 30 years old, published a study in 2016. Oh, so I bet you when he was the first, the youngest black, blah, 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 they were his buddy. 2016, this came out. No racial differences in officer-involved shootings. After he published the study, all hell broke loose, quote, um, Fryer said, people lose their mind when they don't like the result. Just like hands up, don't shoot. That was a lie. That's That was BLM's slogan. You know, McDonald says, I'm loving it. BLM said, hands up, don't shoot. That's what they were, were started on. That was their foundation. Michael Brown, hands up, don't shoot. He says, I lived under police protection for about 30 to 40 days. I had a seven-day-old seven daughter at the time. I was going to the grocery store to get diapers with, with an armed guard. I've told you before, when you're not singing along with their hymnal, when you're not grabbing that script and following it word for word, it can be dangerous. But wouldn't they want that to be true? Oh, these aren't a bunch of racist boss hogs gunning down black folks because of the color of their skin. That's a good thing. Find me a mountaintop so I can scream it from there. This is great. This is wonderful news. Remember when Hakeem went up to those little kids? I have a dead with Lisa today. He was so happy. He wanted to tell everyone. Why wouldn't they do that? Hey, check this out. It's not as bad as we thought. Black men. Remember stupid ass LeBron? Oh, you? They're hunting black people. That dumb jock. Hey, LeBron, wake up, you idiot. It turns out black men aren't hunted. We're not targeted. Come on out, get up, open the blinds, let the sunshine of truth in. Get that fruit, that truth vitamin D all over you. It's not that bad. No, instead, the person who discovered that after having two different groups of researchers, two different, he hired all, he said he hired eight new people just to make sure. This is real. This is the truth. We checked and we double checked. And instead of his, his research being blasted to the masses, instead of his truth reaching all 700 million ears in this country, he needed to be protected because somebody might want to hurt or kill him. 
Wow. I thought people like good news. I thought people would like to hear, hey, that's not the case. This isn't a racist dystopia. Yes. But instead it was, no, keep that shit under wraps. And if you want to be safe, you're going to have to hire some armed, armed security. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Five minutes. They tell him, oh, this is full of shit. They didn't even read it. They didn't even read it. They were acting like politicians. They didn't even read the fucking bill and they passed it. What did Pelosi's drunk ass say? What did the vodka vixen say? Well, we got to pass it to know what's in it. Some of the dumbest shit you've ever heard in your life. Well, aren't you going to read the ingredients on that? Nah, I got to eat it to know what's in it. You know how it goes. I try to be done with the left. They won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the link tree link. Get in the description box. Click the link to my new YouTube channel, Green's House. Like, subscribe, share, and all that shit. I am Jericho Green. And man, I'm out. What?